So today we're going to be doing an entire phone collection, or like smartphone collection. Yeah, I guess you guys can consider this your 400 subscriber special because this takes a lot of time to make, getting all my phones and gathering them all together and organizing them and stuff. So yeah, I don't have time to explain much information about them. I'm just going to tell you what the phone is and if it works or not. Alright, let's get started. Let's start off with the Samsungs. So here we have a Galaxy S, AT&T, works. Actually, it kind of doesn't really work. It just has a cracked screen, broken Wi-Fi. Galaxy S1, mint condition, works, but uh, won't connect to my Wi-Fi because it's too new. Galaxy S2 works fine, just doesn't have a battery back cover. Galaxy S3 mini works fine, it's just in bad shape. Galaxy S3 works fine, mint condition. Galaxy S3 works fine, mint condition, running CyanogenMod Mod 11. Galaxy S4 Mini, bad condition, works fine. Purple Galaxy S4 Mint condition, uh, works fine other than the two touch buttons. Galaxy Note 3, surprisingly, works fine, just has a really, it's in really bad condition. Note 3, not that great condition, works fine. Galaxy S5 Mint condition, does not work fine, hit boot loops. Galaxy S5 Mint condition, works fine. Galaxy Note 4 Mint condition, works fine. Galaxy Note 4, not mint condition, and it does not work fine. It's just kind of a weird phone. has a bad battery. Runs a custom ROM, though, so that's pretty cool. Galaxy Note 5, bad condition. Works fine, but it's Google locked. Galaxy S6, not that great condition. Works fine. Android, it's running Android 5. Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, works fine, not that good condition. S7 Edge, really bad condition. Faulty LCD, doesn't. Uh, most part, works fine. Samsung Galaxy J5 2017 works fine, mint condition. Galaxy S8 works fine, great condition. This one's my main phone, if anyone's wondering. Alright, now we're going to start off with the Samsungs that are not, like, the main phones, or just, like, the budget phones or extras or whatever. Oh, Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro works fine, it's in this case. Samsung Galaxy Core Prime works fine, it's in that case, it's pretty much good mint condition. Galaxy J1 works fine, mint condition. Samsung Galaxy uh, Lite, cracked screen, but works fine. Samsung Galaxy uh, Stardust works fine. Samsung Galaxy Stratosphere 2, mint condition, works fine. Samsung Galaxy Exhibit 2, not that great condition, water damaged, works fine. Samsung Galaxy Ace, Ace it's the original Ace. It uh, works fine also. Alright, now we're moving on to iPhones. So here we have an iPhone 2G, really bad shape. Does partially work, not not really, it's stuck on a Hackintosh screen. iPhone 2G, not that great condition, works fine. iPod Touch 3rd generation, 32 gigabyte, um, has a stuck in home button and the lock button's kind of hard to press. Or doesn't, it doesn't work, but then that it works fine. iPhone 3GS runs iOS 5, works fine iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2. This has a slightly cracked screen and stuck power button. Works fine. iPhone 4 iOS 7.1.2. Works fine. Mint condition. iPhone 4S in like really bad condition. iOS 8 um, has a faulty touch screen too. Also the Wi-Fi doesn't work. iPod Touch 5th Gen. 16 GB with no camera. This one works fine. Just has a cracked screen. iPod Touch 5th uh, Gen. Product Red. 16 GB. Mint condition. Works fine iPhone 5 that runs iOS 7.1.2 mint condition works fine. iPhone 5 uh, 16 gigabyte slate not that great condition screens in mint condition but the back's not. But this one also works fine. iPhone 5C iOS 8 mint condition works fine. iPhone 5 has horrible condition um, works but uh, iCloud locked and has kind of a messed up screen. iPhone 5 has bad condition works fine iPhone 6s, uh, mint condition, 16 gigabyte, uh, runs iOS 9. iPhone 6s, 64 gigabyte, works fine, just has a cracked screen. Alright, now we're moving on to LG products. LG Ally, not in that great condition, works fine. LG Optimus Feel, mint condition, works fine. LG Leon, not that good condition, works fine, just has like a super cracked screen. LG Fortune, cracked screen, but works fine. LG Volt, um, works, but it has a stuck home button and a kind of hard to press power button. 
LG Phoenix 2 mint condition works fine. LG Tribute HD cracked screen, missing back cover works fine though. Oh, let's charge. LG G Styles, really bad shape, broken LCD, and that's all I really know about it. LG G Stylo, pretty much mint shape, works fine. And LG Stylo 3, pretty bad shape, but works fine. Alright, now on the Motorola's, we have a Motorola Droid 3. I don't have the battery for it, but when I plug it in, it works. I'm assuming this one works fine. Motor Motorola Droid Razor M, bad battery. Reasonable condition, though. Motorola Droid M, mint condition, works fine. Model G1, but, um, not mint condition, but it's in good condition. Works fine. Moto E, second generation. This one works fine. Mint condition, pretty much. Um, what's this one called again? Motorola Droid Max, I think. This one has a bad battery and the keys are faulty, but it works fine. Uh, Moto X has a super cracked screen, but works fine. Moto E4 works fine. Uh... Mo Moto Z Play. This one just needs a screen replacement and it'll work just fine. Another Moto Z Play. This one needs a battery and screen replacement and I kind of scratched up the battery there. Okay. Now on to Alcatel's. So here we have a Alcatel I Pixie Unite, I think. Works fine. Alcatel. I never got the name of this one. I think it's Popstar 2. I don't freaking know. But don't, but don't quote me on that. This one also works fine, mint condition. I could tell all the ideal works fine, mint condition. Uh, I could tell uh, Cameo, Cameo X, I think, works fine in reasonable condition. Now at the ZTEs, I don't really, I only have two ZTEs. Might have more, I don't really know. Here we have a ZTE, I don't know the name of this one, but it works fine, just has a slightly cracked screen. Oh, also... Actually, never mind. Um, ZTE Maven 3 uh, works fine. Mint condition. HTCs. All right, moving on to the HTCs. We have an HTC Evo 3D, I think. Works fine. Mint condition. HTC One X. This one is messed up. Like, the screen won't turn on, and I broke it even more taking it apart, but it's overall not that great condition. HTC One M9 has a slightly cracked screen, but works fine otherwise. Now, here's extra phones. Oh, I remember. I also have a, I could tell, uh, hold on, let me try and remember the name. I don't know, I don't remember the name, but here we have a Samsung Galaxy Nexus, works fine, it has a cracked screen. Sony Xperia E4, uh, it's water damage, it doesn't really work that well, it still so shows some signs of life. Here we have a Kyocera thing, Rise, I think Kyocera Rise, screens attached from the hinges, uh, works though. Here we have a cool pad catalyst. No, it's not a catalyst. I don't remember the name. But this one is faulty. Not that great shape. Here we have, I have a Blackberry curve of some sorts. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. But this one works too. But it's water damaged. Alright. The, the Alcatel was the Alcatel One Touch Pixie Avion LTE. Something along the lines of that. I had one of those. I lost it. I also, for the Motorola's, I have a Motorola Droid X um, Droid. X2, but I also lost that. So yeah, that's my smartphone collection. And yeah. These are all my phones. Okay, I count I have 84. So yeah, that's quite a lot. Not compared to other people, but still, that's still quite a bit in my book. So yeah.